Hey guys, it's Futon here, and today we're going to be bringing you an um, advanced Elite Dungeon 1 guide with range. Um, this guide is going to be different than my other guide because if the other guide was focusing on mechanics, this is going to be focusing a little bit more on range in itself. And range is a really different, especially considering we're going to be implementing the Eldritch Crossbow. Uh, this crossbow right here makes Elite Dungeon 1 a lot sim simpler, in my opinion, though it is a little bit more effort for stuff like Sanctum and for Siriu, but again, it makes it a lot easier. And on top of it, we're gonna be doing this entire thing. I have the scrimshot here, but I'm not gonna turn it on, and we're not gonna use um, ores either, just to prove a point here. Uh, this makes it very consistent to not have to use ores here for this dungeon, and yeah, you really don't have to worry about too much. Though I will note, this is a main gear, in my opinion. You can swap out the blights for ascensions, that's not a problem. But you definitely need at least a chin, an offhand blight, and an eldritch crossbow. Uh, Saren Godbow really isn't that useful for this dungeon. Uh, you can use it as a 3x3 spec weapon against Siryu, but pff, it really isn't that big of a deal. Um, and as a note, we are using Opal, Ruby, and Onyx for chemical bolts. Swap the Opal out for Ascension bolts if you're using Ascensions. The only reason I'm using the Opal bolts is because of the fact that the blight balance have a hidden effect of saving of 25% save chance on the bolts per bow. So I actually will save half the bolts and this ends up being around the same price as blight bolts, but it's 5% more, 10% more damage, I'm sorry, or something along that line, whenever they proc. So I might as well use them. Uh, as a note, the inventory is a little bit scuffed because it's set up for something else, but um, you want these super restores are basically needed for whenever you do Masuta and Siryu on the same inventory. Your lucky charms, because lucky charms are good junk of the money for common drops and uh, just selfish it really isn't nothing really that special but as a note we're gonna be going really high in the detail here with chinning and clearing out the mobs extremely quickly in fact the mobs are now probably the easiest part of the dungeon now with that as a note we're gonna be going now retuning this portal from my AFK session earlier template Amanishi and now we're gonna be entering this in as a solo so we groups thing boom done so all right and we're going to for the sake of it clear this chest so there's whatever this banquet so chest is empty and now we're going to be going into here uh as a note you want to start out with a bladed dive here just to make it a little bit easier go through here um make sure your prayers are on uh no weapon poison is great for mobs and up to siryu weapon poison is useless for siryu this is a note stand about here in the corner Swap the chins. I like how this just got eaten. Okay, and you at least want to be able to you'll be able to chin these ones right here. So try to maximize your availability. As a note, this is a part of the other guide. It's but there are going to be some quick changes. So right here, and of course I forgot to turn my chest off. Bloody darn it! All right, so we're just turn back on with auto retaliate. Make sure that's off, guys. Make sure auto retaliate's off. And also this. Okay. Alright. Okay. Way to dive down. Here, surge. As a note, you want to hopefully that the mini boss here isn't spawn, but either way, bards of this one swap the chins. It will pull them all into a tag. Like this right here, a nice big chunk. Clean them all off. Then move right over here to this one. Start chaining this one. Okay, so right here. Okay. Oh, nice. Two dragon helmets. I'm not going to pick that up. Alright, at this point, you either swap to Eldritch or the Blight. I'm just going to stop. Well, so many of you guys don't have the Blights. So, hit him. Over here in the corner. They all stack up. Come back here. You got to make sure you're able to hit all of them. And then just chin the middle one here. Nice. Serenic scale. I will pick that up. You just want to do that for chinning. Uh, pick up the scale. Make sure it's through. 
Uh, from there, swap the oval bowl to the Eldritch. Optimizing this a little bit, this is one of the points you want to go ahead and use your Eldritch spec, which we'll see the effect of it right here. Quickly clear this guy off. Uh, let's see if I can get them to line up. Yep, right there. So now we got chins. Of course, because you're out of range of one of them, it won't actually hit them. Hang on, the chin wasn't on. But at your point, you get the point. Okay. Pull them back. And no, because I do have the blight bounds for this, I do save a 50% on my bolts. So that's one major reason I'm using opal or anything. Now for this part, pull them up, pull up the aggression, come back down, pull the chin, hold your position, go back up so you're in the range of everything, and blow them apart. Now you might pull the aggression of these ones, but it's still way faster. And uh, where are you? Oh, you have like, you have like no LP. All right, then of course this boy to dive across. And this might feel a little weird when you're getting used to this, but once you know it, it just turns into fluid fluid. I'm gonna turn this on now. Go over here, swap the chins, just blow them off. You're dead, you're dead, you're dead. Okay, and then teleport out to reset. Um, as a note, I'm going to start this fight now with 0% of drain. So, just to demonstrate how you can do this. It really isn't that big of a deal. Um, note, the ingenuity to humans is an option, and inside this room pouch is just basically bone. So, we're just going to lower my drain to 0, just to show how you can do this from now on scratch. Alright, continue where we left off. Okay, let's go quickly. Right there. Um, equip your Ring of Vigor. And if, if you don't know, the Ring of Vigor reduces the uh, adrenaline cost for the spec. Uh, soul Split and Range. Oh uh, no, Sanctum is a little bit different from what I showed earlier where I was just showing the um, basic Sunshine Rotation. You can actually dodge every single one of Sanctum's attacks by moving. So whenever he fires an attack, it would do an AoE around where you were. And then go from there. So we're going to go ahead and Judy the humans, and we're, or I guess the auto won't go through. Oh well. So ignore that Judy. Just fails. Okay, so we're just gonna run around. As you know, we won't get too much damage here when it goes in. Correct melee, and then basically just run all the way around out right here, and then um, Elder spec right at this point and make sure that you rapid fire and corruption during your elder spec. They are the two most powerful abilities underneath this damage. So we're just gonna set the specs over. We're just gonna build. And if you really wanna be cheeky, you can actually sit there and res that. Right here. Cause you do not get much of any soul split at all during this entire fight. So I'm gonna do this and do this. off again and then go. Alright, and we keep doing this until he hits about 150k LP. So we're just going to pull it up here. Right here. Surge over. That is funny. Uh, bone is not. Bone is very weird with range. I didn't actually press that button. That's the bone that failed to go off earlier. Place it right up there. That's fine. All 
All right, now that it's under that LP, swap to either Opal or Hydrix, and it's up to you. Once it's under 150K, before the next spout. So you can see here, it, you kind of get the leeway with the Eldritch, which is really nice. You're not stuck in place like you are for Sunshine. So it really just makes it a lot more of a fluid fight. All right, and then we're done. And we're just gonna go ahead and proceed. As you see, I barely used any supplies at all. And I could have done that a lot cleaner than what I have. So I'll put that as a note. Go down here like before, blade dive. Please do not protect, do protection prayers. These melees can easily rip all of them off. Just make sure you're full LP. Because if you mess up, you're gone anyway. It's, this place is not forgiving in any way. Okay, so clear. Now when you get down here, with these ones, no, rapid fire will stop their attacks. It's any bind, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this. That, and that. So, binding shot, corruption, rapid fire. Let me quick clear these as fast as I can. We're gonna be almost living with chins right now. Done there. Alright, so then belated dive down here. Uh, make sure you have your opal bolts equipped at this point because there's going to be a few mobs that you're going to hit here. And there's no point wasting uh, rubies. In fact, you don't want ruby procs to go off. Because it will be weaker damage. Really no point bladed diving into this point because you're just going to run into a wall. Right in front of these guys. Rapid fire. Mm. Seven LP. Nice. Okay. Alright, straight through here. Apply poison. Right here. Just keep them down. Just easily just tack this one where my mouse is here, then hit this one. And just clean it and do it. Make sure you're paying attention a little bit to your health. These things can hit you a little harder than normal. Let's open, please. Alright, at this point, swap to Eldritch. And the elders has a range of a Nox bow, so you just see what you're gonna spec. Rapid fire. As you see the massive amount of damage just in blight. So boom, down here. Trigger these. The moment they're triggered, go across, swap the chins. Just as a precaution, eat up. No, you really don't need to be doing all this eating that I'm doing. That is not mandatory. Um, and there's this little guy. Please do not splash, buddy. Uh, rapid Fire also does hold the Cell Swords back in place um, as a heads up to that. In case you guys are all wondering, it does apply to it. And you always want to try to keep targeting the one in the middle as they move through. Um, though your stuns will make it a little bit of a problem. Clear off all of it. All right, uh, no, you wanna do this end over here. Just because if there's mages on the west end, and those mages can literally cause you to get Omni Power to the face for all your LP. So it's just safer to go this way and it's actually quicker. Uh, I just clear that one because I feel like it. You don't really need to. You can get away with not doing it. 
but come over here with the z lots and you notice there's not no healers there's not much anything and they all get trapped pretty much behind a wall all right my prayer ran out and at this point we reset the dungeon teleport out rebank Oh yeah, I'm gonna let my drain dr preferably drain here. Again, to demonstrate how to do this without um, a drain. Uh, note, for this one, you're gonna be camping the Eldritch for nearly the entire fight. Um, you want the distance and the range that the bow offers, so we're gonna be protecting melee. Um, I have a very specific rotation to this, so we're gonna go in here. I'm not even gonna bother boning him because I don't trust this. But we're gonna start the fight off with um, a corruption shot and a corruption and a um, frag shot. So if you do this. No, this guy has mechanics similar to Hellware. If you stand still, it'll delay his attacks further. But if you cause him to move, you can actually make him skip attacks. So if you see here, boom, surge through him. And just with ranging in general, this is a lot easier with range than it is magic. Have here. Equip your Ring of Vigor because we're going to go ahead and now Death Swiftness. But we're not going to do it with, we don't want, we want the bleed because he's not going to be here too long. So literally just rapid fire and down. We want to make sure that he's not in D to us. And we just got hit to that. I was hoping we wouldn't, but you got to be careful with those mage hits. They hit you for the same damage as at the end without having, um any protections so just deal whatever damage you can give into him here make sure you're full up heal and then just damage him on the way back down he, normally I could get this in two cycles with um, with the building of the start I just rapid fire it and hit him with um, a snapshot as well um, okay so we don't have death swiftness don't you worry too much about it And he will phase at 270 KLP. So, like I said, try not to move around too much. It will stall his attacks from going off. Um, not really stall, but make them go off in the intended time period. And like I said, he's like Hellware hard mode. If you start moving Hellware, you'll notice that he starts skipping attacks. So it looks like because of the way we didn't stall at the beginning, we're going to get a, another spin, which is completely fine. Yep, we're going to get another. All right, that's fine. We can keep far out of its range and it's really just a joke. So just go straight through and right here. Yep, there we go. All right, now we're into the annoying phase. Uh, for this phase, I normally blade a dive and no, I will swap the Ruby or, or nah, Opal Bolts because Rubies just hit like our other trash because of the low LP. Um, and for this method that I use, I highly suggest that you actually kill all these um you're gonna laugh at this but you can actually soul split them if you kill all of them it's kind of ridiculous um you want to try to get as much as you can here you need to be within one tile of them sorry within two tiles at any point to get the actual rejuvenation off of it and at one point here we're going to start if we get overwhelmed okay we're going to use this and also because we have chins we get to stand right here and blow both these apart. Okay, clear them both off. Beautiful. One of the reasons I love ranging this guy in a way. It's all about the conditions of where they spawn. Make sure you don't lose prayer at this point. Okay, get back up the stairs. And you want to try to at least have 60. If you have 60, you can go down to there and just AFK until he's done. But I really suggest you guys just get the whatever until you're used to this guy. And now this is the part that actually hurts the most. Because uh, his attacks aren't really that bad if you get soul split them. I right, see I ran out of overload. And you're done. Okay. Alright. Please drink. That's all I ask. Eat up. Eat up. Alright, turn soul split on now. Turn ruby bolts. 
And where, where are we going to go to down? So we're not going to use it. We're going to use less food here with eating through a soul split than we would actually do with a normal, you know, rotation. So this prioritize bleeds a little bit here because they actually increase the most soul split damage back. So hard hits necessarily isn't always the best on him, especially in this phase because of the way soul splits diminishing returns are. So don't be afraid to use corruption by shot during this point. It actually does help, and when he switches over to 140k, highly suggest you switch to the Onyx. You might as well. Uh, as a note, you can actually build up here, and if you truly preserve to do this fast, you can onslaught him at this point. However, I'm going to be a little bit of a coward for the sake of being a coward for everyone else, and I'm going to just go ahead and uh, just not onslaught him. But I'm going to build for a second one here. So no, also I am using um, Bark or nah, Blights over Eldritch here because I'm actually burning through the bolts and I'm actually wanting to save them while I do it. But generally it's pretty quick. You can walk him if you really want. Though you have to go underneath him in order to walk him, you can't just move backwards. He will not chase you, so don't even bother with that. And that should be all they wrote. Pretty easy, huh? Alright, and we got plenty of supply left over, so we will be doing Siri in the same inventory. Hopefully, unless I totally botch the uh, thing, which can happen to RNG, but it's very unlikely. Swap back to Onyx, or Opal for this part. Unless you really need the heals, and I probably don't. This Devotion. Corruption. Snapshot, rapid fire while this is under devotion. Go here. Little this down. Alright, and I'm going to assume you want money, so turn the chest off. Uh, it gives a 20% chance to double it. So just pull up everything here. Um, put the Eldritch right there, stall a little bit. And now this is where the hard parts can actually begin at this. Uh, you're going to be one that elder spec as much as possible in soul split flicking the entire fight. So as you see here, just pop like that and move around. Um, note, these shadow pillars here are done in a cross formation, so they go literally here. And you always want to elder spec if you can right after the fire blast. But as a note, you're also using range, so that um, fire blast is actually going to hit you a lot less than normal. And with the Eldritch, you're not going to really get too much soul split back. So f having food isn't necessarily a bad thing. And being able to properly flip this is also another necessary. Um, right here. And you do not need Disruption Shield. You can use it. But um, again, it's mainly useful so that you can Eldritch spec and keep the damage through it. Or, I'm sorry, keep soul splitting through it. So it is a DPS help to actually uh, Disruption Shield as, that, uh, much, as much as you can. So we're just going to lower the head. Okay. Cool. Okay. Move over a little bit. Make sure you're paying attention to the shadows. And also, as a note, Ruby Bar Chemical Bolts do not work on the head either. So. to the phase because remember again this phase is at 1.7 and you want to kind of keep a little close to that okay, so I can do that and having a hundred percent with range is not as vital as it is though I really do suggest that full LP is more vital at this point than having max I'm gonna 
and eat that. Because we are not going to be death swiftnessing this entire fight. Oh, beautiful. I hate you. Whatever. Alright, so go up here. Now you have to do this in a specific order, and um, so equip your stuff. You can vault it, so it's not too hard. Uh, Elder spec, place mines, corruption, shot, rapid fire. The end of it, cancel with a piercing shot, snapshot, straight into uh, binding shot, into tendril, into this, into a tight binding, corruption, a drim pot into another Eldritch spec, straight into the next set of thresholds, Oof. pretty bad thresholds, but we should still be fine. And done. Pretty bad rolls on the um, Eldritch because the way it works is the ammo to souls massively affects the damage. So now we wait to the fifth heal, which should be about right now. Eldritch spec, corruption, snap, rapid, place the mines, tendril, freedom. And then I normally switch the chins here. Stun one, pulling back all those. Clean them all off. Chins just make this a little bit cleaner. Okay, cool. Swap the shield. Then instantly go back into Elder Spec. And now you've done the worst part of the fight because the first crystal is always the worst with range. It's at full. But as you see there, I didn't even need Death Swiftness. And you don't need aura, and aura just makes it even easier. It's not really even a challenge because the Eldritch spec, uh, sorry, for Reckless, the um, you don't get the damage boost during Sunshine, but you get it during the Eldritch spec, and you get it the stat boost too. So it makes it a little bit even like broken, but you take a lot more damage from the trash mods. But as you see. This just makes it into a little bit of a joke. I'm not even using an aura. I'm not using a scrim. Um, kill times aren't like super fast, but it's not absolutely terrible. And I mean, if you're gonna be going long term, you could do this boss in between every other aura you own. So again, this it really isn't that terrible at all. Yeah, just make sure. I uh, don't have anything, so just put that on. Take the hit spec again. So you basically you're just specking after every single one of the uh, fire breaths. This makes it a little bit easier because then you can soul split back some LP as well. At least this is what I found to be the, like the chillest way of doing it. So you see here it runs out but then I, I can get a little bit of time to get some LP back. And yeah. Alright, pretty bad luck on that. Of course I screwed the perflip, so you see there it hits you. Knocks you a little bit. But make sure you pay attention also to your prayer for this. That's the reason why I have so many pods, is just in case it goes to uh, that is shit, basically. Okay, and then if you don't get reses. That's really the only reason to use code. Oh yeah, and I didn't use ruby bolts for that uh, crystal. By the way, swap the ruby bolts for the crystals. Eh, it helps out a lot. It's about a free 8k hit. So, um, yeah, that's not bad. I did that in the worst case scenario. So you can see just how powerful this bow really is. It really makes it into a joke. Oops. Oh well, I'm... I got an Eldritch. Not gonna matter. And the crystal's very low. Oh, as another note, you can't actually use, um... You can't use Dominion Mines when it's, uh... below... 
60k LP. Uh, since I'm low LP, I don't tender this. It's not really that required anyway. Um, trying to think. Okay. It's that and rapid fire. Shit in pretty quickly. This builder at this point. Eat up a little bit. Surge MD. Bowl it. Okay. Cool. Again, wait for the fifth. Drop the mine on the fifth in this case. Two, three, four. Eldritch, drop mine. Okay, rapid fire, please. Freedom this out. Um, okay. But yeah, there is a. I'm gonna say this with this method, it is very expensive entryway into it. But as you see, you could just. It's really a lot cleaner, a lot simpler. And again, I'm gonna reiterate on that. Um. Okay. to the fours and I like to say if you want to move two squares away from these it's not really much of also nightmare gauntlets I don't really care that it's there for uh, that ability is just literally there for dream building okay make sure you get your res if you can spec into rapid fire or into snapshot time spec rapid fire cancel a snapshot not piercing shot that again just gonna turn pop there not really required, but and done. Seven ancient scales. All right, so that's really just how to do Siriu through all the way through the dungeon from start to finish with range. It is cleaner than it was with um, magic. Oh, auto regenerate, nice. 
But again, it takes a little bit getting used to because it's it's weird. Uh, it really is weird. Like Sir Satan's like next. Masuda is just you gotta know Masuda. But as you saw at the end there, soul splitting, Daisy shot for the win. Really, to be honest with you, and quite a few other factors. But yeah, this is um basically how to go through a dungeon with mage. Or not sorry, with range with the Eldritch bow. As a note, this bow is 1.1 bill GP, and these bows are 800 mil apiece. You can use ascensions. But I highly suggest you watch my mage guide if you do not afford this. And I'm going to put this at the beginning of the video as well. But um, hopefully this was helpful in just like understanding how to do this. And again, I didn't use scrimshot. I didn't use auras. You could have saved 10 minutes probably off that just using those two. Reckless and um, cruelty. But as you saw, I literally completed this entire dungeon in less than 33 minutes. Without any of that. So this is great money for off aura and again right here pull a price check let's just grab just the skills and remember i wasn't in here for all of it either and i guarantee you have another like three mil right there six seven mil an hour plus the chest i mean the scale and well as well and i missed quite a little bit there because of i didn't have my chest turn on for one third of the mobs so what did i make there i still have a mil in there <laughs> Plus a ceramic scale, 5 mil run, 30 minutes, 10 mil an hour. I mean, it it's whatever. And and I got half what you normally average about 10 to 15 scales a run. So you can just look into what you see here. You do two runs an hour, that's a lot of money. So um, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this was informative to you and hopefully you guys can see how easy this is with range. No, this is great for off aura, on aura. Magic might be a little better, yes. But then again, phew. It's as clean. I don't have to worry about auras. I'm happy. So thank you guys for watching and have a wonderful day.